The mashup is brought to you by North Star Sports with locations in Poughkeepsie and Wappingers Falls. Well, the big game on the first big week of high school football was Arlington and John Jay, and the guy who made the big play is sitting right next to me, Joe Lasowski. Joe, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. Um, so before the game even started, as we were talking a little bit about earlier, can you, can you tell us how you and the guys were feeling? Was there any nerves? You're up at Arlington's field. They had a lot of uh, uh, fans, uh, naturally, but, but so did you. You had the Jay Army there. Yeah, I mean, it felt great, and it was uh, the first play of the year, or first game of the year. Just being back on the field, I mean, you always have those nerves. And, um, but getting out after the first kick, everything just kind of relaxes and you're into it and it just feels normal. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, you know, you come into the season, preseason ranked number one by the Piner Baker scoring system that Section 1 uses. Uh, so there's obviously a lot of pressure. Uh, how are you guys reacting to that? I mean, how are you guys handling being number one going into the preseason? I mean, we just take it like we would if we were number 10. I mean, we're going to come out, we're going to practice like, uh, like everyone's better than us, and we're going to come out, and we're going to prepare, and we're going to, like, prove what we have. All right, so as we also were talking before, the game got off to a very slow start. Um, so you were down 7 nothing. Arlington took it down. Uh, you did come back, cut it to 7-6. to six. Then the key sequence in the game. You score a touchdown, you go up 14-7, and then 15 seconds later on Arlington's first play, you, you're smiling already. You, <laughs> you jump the route and uh, take it back 20 yards for a touchdown on an interception. Talk to us a little bit about how that developed. First of all, what were you in? I couldn't tell from the camera angle, but were you in a zone read? Um, well, we have like a weird defense. It's more of like a like man zone. But um, I mean, we've been practicing. We've been running their routes since like May, since our seven on seven and stuff. So I mean, I saw it and I knew it as soon as it happened. So I was there. Um, when you're dropping back into that, who are you looking at? Are you trying to multitask here and look at a receiver? Are you trying to read the quarterback's eyes? Um, I mean, you're doing a little bit of everything. You, you have to get your run read and then when you or run pass read, and when you get it, you just uh, you start backpedaling and you see what happens. You're looking at the entire field at the same time. Can you quantify how big this game was? We called it a big game. Everybody called it a big game. It was a big game. But did you guys look at it as that? Did you guys go into it and just, you know, kind of, you know, oh boy, uh, uh, you know, we got to win this opener because we don't want to play catch up. Yeah, I mean, every game's a big game. I mean, you come out and uh, you, you play like you're in the playoffs. You play like every game matters. Every game could be an elimination game because that's what it is. I mean, you never know what happens. But um, I mean, we came out and we looked at it. It's, it was our rival, but we said it's not like that big a deal. Um, we're going to come out, we're going to play it like it's anyone else, and we're going to prove what we have. And uh, one last question, uh, now that you've got game one over and you've gone through an entire preseason, uh, what do you see that's emerged that maybe wasn't there at the beginning? Is there anything that you look at now and say, you know, boy, we do that really well? Um, our offensive line, going into the preseason, everyone was worried, but I mean, they came out and they proved what they have. I mean, they've done excellent. They've, they're doing better than I would have ever expected, and I'm really proud of them. All right. Joe Lasowski, John Jay High School Football. He's a senior. He'll be back on the field against Mayapak this weekend. Now that, that is a great kid. And, that is uh, a great kid. I mean, yeah. a, a big play that he had because once that play happened, it was almost that was the end for uh, Arlington. Oh, it was the could, nail in the coffin. You could see them, you know, shrunk a little bit, uh, even though there was still time left. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you could see him shrunk a little bit, and uh, he just made a tremendous play. Good kid, good student. So very happy for them. And, uh, uh, happy to see the way the rest of the season plays out. That game's over now, though. I mean, they've got That's a big right. game against Mayapak this weekend. Yeah. Two one and zero teams in the league. Well, let's talk about Mayapak and and what you see as far as their strength this year compared to how they've been in the past. Um, Mayapak has been kind of a um, a five hundred team the last couple of years. Um, just you know, just like like Arlington, just missed the playoffs. Uh, you know, this year. They knew they were going to have a good offensive line. They've got some young, skilled position players that they knew needed time to develop a little bit. Well, they must have done something right over the weekend because they beat Fox Lane 30 to 8. Fox Lane's not a bad team, so that was a good, impressive win for Mayapak. Gives them a little confidence going into Jay on, on uh, this weekend. 
And I'm really impressed with Jay, and I gotta say this because uh, you, when you take a look at John Jay and what they have to practice on, where all these other teams have turf and, and great complexes, Jay, year in, year out, plays on gravel, uh, water drains, everything else on their practice the fields. No reflection on the ground screw. They do the best yep. that they can they awesome. with what they've got to work with. It's almost like you know putting a lipstick on a pig. It, just, it yep. doesn't work. But when you think about what they have to practice on and what they've achieved, you can only wonder if they had a facility that's more friendly for practice, how much better they could be. When they're practicing, they're, they're pra the guys line the field. First of all, it's not regulation. So they work their special teams out by hash marks. You're gonna to go to that mark, you're gonna to go to that mark, and if it's out of a relation or proportion, it throws you off in the game time. Right. How many games are decided by special teams? Well, that's, you know, that's why you said, uh, you know, you found out over the, the course of the week, that's why they went up to Millbrook yeah. to, to practice on, uh, on Millbrook's field, to, to get an idea of, of where those hash marks are. Yeah, and I think it also helped them to get feel for turf. Absolutely. And they haven't been able to get on their field because the track has been uh, repaved, and so you can't cross over it. So they, they've been, uh, uh, you know, behind the eight ball, so to speak, when it comes to practices, and they still were able to rise to the occasion. So good for them. You know, sometimes I think that that may actually work to their advantage because you know, if they can practice against a little bit of adversity during the week instead of having some creature comforts, mm. not that I wouldn't want them to have the, the kind of facilities that Arlington, Millbrook, Roosevelt now have, uh, but, but, you know, I bet you Tom O'Hare is playing that up. He's a master motivator. All right, let's get back to uh, football and uh, the other big game that's coming up uh, between Poughkeepsie and FDR. Old school. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to see that one. Uh, you know, it's a non-league game. Uh, Roosevelt is uh, back up in Class AA. Uh, Poughkeepsie is uh, Class A. But uh, both had impressive wins. Uh, you know, Poughkeepsie put 55 points on the board. That was really impressive. Um, you know, against a, against a good Red Hook team that made the playoffs last year in Class B in Section 9. And, uh, you know, with Bill Stutz coming back as the head coach that they were going to be tough. He's an old wrestling guy. Um, so, you know, that, that was impressive what Poughkeepsie did. I thought what Roosevelt did was also impressive, too, to go up to Kingston to score 21 points. Uh, in a hostile environment, doesn't matter. You know, Kingston's been down the last year or two. It doesn't matter. Deed Stadium is always a, a very difficult place to play. Roosevelt went up there and they absolutely dominated and controlled the game, and they did it with their ground game. 53 rushes out of 54 offensive plays. We've seen a lot of that uh, in the course of this past weekend. A lot of, a lot of rushing games. You know, oh, more more so yeah. than past. John Underwood from Beacon goes for 227. Yeah. Danny Cox from Lords had 148. Yeah, so this Poughkeepsie FDR is, is really, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be speed against power, is what, yeah. what it looks like to me. Well, you know what, don't discount uh, uh, Roosevelt's speed. I mean, it looks like yeah. Avery Struther is back Avery's to, back, right? you know, to 100%, and they've got, uh, they've got the four guys in the backfield. Um, you know, they've, they've got to get their, uh, their passing game involved, but uh, they, they've got skill position players. How about too. Alex Mar Marinelli? I mean, man, his father has got to be so proud uh, of that kid. There, there's another kid. You just love the kid, yeah, you know? Yeah. I mean, he just, uh, you, you can't help but not wish him success. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then um, on the other side of that river, we've got uh, another big game between Marlboro and New Paltz. Who saw this coming? And like you had said, one of these two teams after that is going to go 0-2. Yep. That's very surprising. And um, you know what? It's, it's been interesting. I don't know if you thought uh, the way I did when I, when I first typed in the schedule, you know, weeks and weeks ago. Uh, I was like, boy, Marlboro's got a tough game for week one against Walkill. Boy, New, uh, Highland's got a tough game in week one against, uh, against New Paltz. You know, rivalry game. Uh, See, and I was thinking just the other way. Oh, man, Walkill's got a tough game against Marlboro. Well, well yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, hey, I, I picked, I'll be honest, I picked Marlboro to win, and I've yeah. been saying all along that, uh, you know, listen, you don't dethrone uh, right. you know, the, the champs until you actually beat them. Well, Walkill beat them. Right, yeah. So, so it's going to be interesting to see how that game plays, plays out because, uh, you know, Marlboro, uh, has a uh, has a young quarterback, Ray Pacella, and um, you know he uh, he came on late in the game, but it wasn't enough. When you get, when you get down eighteen nothing, twenty four seven, sometimes yeah. it's just too much. And Walt Hill's got a young quarterback as well. Oh well, you know that kid's got a legacy though. I mean, he's got family who came through that school, yeah. and he's got an athletic yeah. pedigree that few people have. We we're talking about AJ Dombrowski from from uh, Walt Hill, but. Um, you know, uh, they, you know, there's another big game. They've got Valley Central. That, that's a traditional rival. Oh, they, right. they, they, play for that, they play for the helmet. Yeah, right. And, um, you know, that's going to be a great game, too. Yeah. 
So good games all around. Let's switch it over to uh, let's talk about soccer yeah. a little bit. Actually, it's a weird week because uh, so early in the season, first of all, we had commented that the matchups that they had for first week was almost like, you know, you'd see those towards the end of the season. Right. You got them first game of the season. But now we've got like a rivalry week between John Jay and... Uh, yeah, you know, when I was filling out the, the, you know, the email this morning to, for us to talk about, well, what's, you know, what's big this week? You know, it just kept popping up. Arlington uh, boys soccer undefeated uh, plays Ketchum uh, early in the week, and then Ketchum plays John Jay. So that's two <laughs> that's two tough games right away. Ketchum plays John Jay in girls soccer. Uh, Ketchum plays John Jay in field hockey, uh, and the Ketchum Jay so uh, boys soccer game, by the way, is uh, under the lights on Saturday night. Yeah. So you know that's going to be raucous. So Jay girls down a little bit, huh? You know, I mean, they had a you know they they, they beat North Salem the other day, one to nothing. Corinne Burns had the goal. Um, they're not as offensively potent yet you know it kind of reminds me what Craig Sanborn was saying about Arlington you know we need time for our young kids to develop and you know we, we graduated 18 seniors but you know they scored six on Carmel the other day uh, Vinny uh, Colantuano had uh, two goals on that game and I think he's got four for the year mm -hmm. in three games so um, you know they're, they're, the kids are starting to come around already yeah all right well it's going to be a great week and you're going to be able to see all the action right here on Hudson Valley Sports Report. And one of the things that we talk about, not to promote ourselves or, or pat ourselves on the back, although that's what we're doing, is the fact that, you know, with everyone else gone, all of these other entities gone, TV entities, we're it for, for real, you know, good high school highlights right. of, of the games. And so uh, between the coverage that we've got this year and a lot of work that you're doing, I wanted to make that public as well, that, um, you know, we're, we're trying to provide the best we can, the most we can with the little people that we have. Well, I, th I think that, that, that the kids and the parents, uh, as we saw with uh, Joe Lasowski's uh, mom and dad, uh, and other notes that we've gotten uh, over the course of the first uh, week of the season, I, I think what the kids really appreciate is, um, you know, the fact that your videos are two, three, four minute long stories. Here's how the game went. Here's the, the, the key play. Um, and that's, you know, that, 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 really helps when the kids are coming on the site and they're looking and they're seeing that um, you know we've got Joe Lasowski's uh, pick six yeah. we, we've got it on video yeah now he'll have uh, it for know, his kids keep, yeah he'll have it for his kids absolutely and that's why we do it uh, so you know I'm saying we're patting ourselves on the back but we wanted to let you know that that's really what motivates us yep. is the reaction that we get from the parents who see what we're doing for their kids and when the reaction that the kids get and knowing that we're creating these memorable moments for these kids yep. for when they're older because when we played we didn't have this kind of stuff no. to show our kids how much they weighed us down over life this is what we were and look, <laughs> look what we are now <laughs> well i know we didn't have video when i played high school football i could tell you that yeah. you know other than the grainy black and white that the coaches uh, somehow got their hands on for you uh, you know for uh, uh yeah. you know for <laughs> so, purposes of the next game anyway so uh, we're thrilled that the uh, new season is upon us and we're just loving every minute of it we hope you are too so uh, keep checking back on hudson valley sports report every day because there's new updates and new information and predictions and everything else that you're looking for here in Hudson Valley Sports. Yeah, and check us check us out on uh, Twitter too at HV Sports Report. Uh, I know that right now the John Jay and Mayapac people are absolutely loving us since I started a nice big Twitter war uh, over the student sections. Enjoy that all week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, that'll do it for us. For Rich Tomaselli, I'm Charlie Carnaccio, and we'll see you online.